And our coverage of this debate continues now with CBS 4's Ted Scouten. He is live in Sunrise, where local leaders spoke out just a short time ago about the policy. Ted. Yeah, Lauren, Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz calls the policy horrific and an injustice, and she blames the president. I'm here to shine a, a massive spotlight on this issue. Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz announcing she's heading to the border to see for herself what's going on. She's meeting with local immigration leaders and activists to get more information. The Congresswoman and those at the round table are deeply concerned about current policy that separates children from parents who cross into the U.S. illegally. I've, I've never seen a policy more vile, more revolting, that makes me more sick than what the Trump administration is doing to children and their families by ripping them away um, from one another at the border. People at the round table told the congresswoman they're concerned that the policy does not go along with U.S. morals and sends a message that the United States is not welcoming to immigrants. They're also concerned of the damage separating children from their parents can do long term. I think that what we're not seeing is the trauma that's being inflicted on that, those children when they're taken away from their parents. That may not be something that's readily apparent, apparent on their faces, but that is going to affect them for the rest of their life. And Congresswoman Wasserman Schultz is going to Brownsville, Texas, which is in the Rio Grande Valley on the border on Friday. She plans to tour some of those facilities on Saturday. Meanwhile, she said she's also going to be looking at facilities here in South Florida, in Homestead and Cutler Bay, as well as Miami Gardens, after getting reports that there are juveniles that are being held here as well in South Florida. However, uh, it's not clear exactly who's being held here. Some reports say that many of those uh, people, those juveniles who are being held, are kids who came to the U.S. alone illegally. Live in Sunrise, Ted Scouten, CBS 4 News.